Hello all, welcome to the tutorial part 2. In this video, we will be walking through the Pega React Starter Pack. Hope you are able to download the Pega React Starter Pack from the link that has been shared in the tutorial part 1. You can find the link in the current video description if you missed my earlier tutorial part, part 1 video. And along with this, please install Node.js which is a prerequisite to work with React applications. Link for the same is also mentioned in the description. Once you download and unzip the Pega React Starter Pack, these are the folders that you can see. It contains a simple Pega application called Cable Connect and a sample Pega React application that is configured to connect to a Pega application. The third folder contains documents explaining both the Pega and React applications in terms of setups. First, let's learn about the Cable Connect application. As said, it's a simple application that is configured that is configured to raise a request for a new cable connection and uh, it supports four operators one is a representative one is a tech person the third one is a manager and the fourth one is admin so as you can see this document explains about the cable connect application and these are the installation steps that one has to follow to import the application into the pega environment as the instructions are self-explanatory and very straightforward, we will not be concentrating on this as part of the video. Once the application is imported into Pega, these operator IDs needs to be enabled. In the initially, these operator IDs will be in disabled mode. One has to enable these operator IDs before start using this. Once you enable, try to log in using the same at same operator ID to make sure they will they are working when we are using those operator IDs while sending the API requests. Before learning about React application that has been part of Pegas React Starter Pack, let's dive into Admin Studio and have a look at the DX APIs and uh, let's try to hit one of the API from a standard API tool called Postman and see how the response is structured and uh, how it is returned. 